everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and you know guys today i really feel like making something special something a little bit over the top something very golden shiny with some interesting accessories maybe some special hat piece something like this and you know when i feel like this when i feel like making something very extra i often go two directions i make or some hindu goddess or i make some ancient egyptian character also a goddess or a queen something like this and today guys i've decided to go the ancient Egyptian way and I've decided to make the goddess Isis. She's the main goddess of the ancient Egyptian religion uh, and she looks absolutely phenomenal. Just look at her. Everything is there. The wings, uh, the headpiece, all kinds of details, all kinds of accessories. So I think it will be a very interesting project to work on and this is exactly what I feel like making today. So guys, this is gonna be our project of the week. Let's start working like always in the beginning. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I just have to remind you about it in my every single video. I'm sorry about it, but this is how YouTube works. Uh, if you like things that I'm making here on my channel, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And of course, hit the bell button if you want to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload my videos or every week, Friday or every second week Friday it depends on the size of the project so hit the bell button to not miss my new doll repaint videos so and this being said guys let's start the transformation as a model for this project I will use this new Cleo doll I think she's kind of ideal for all kinds of Egyptian projects I already used her for my Nefertiti doll as well in the past so I really enjoyed the end result so let's hope this doll will look very pretty in the end as well. And to start I will like always undress the doll, cut her hair off and then I will wipe her face off with pure acetone because this project requires a clean canvas of course. Good, everything is gone, so I can seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start drawing her new face using soft pastels and watercolor pencils.
Okay, this is the face. The next step would normally be blushing her body, but I want to make some adjustments first. And first of all, I want to increase the articulation of her knee joints, because I will cover her body with golden sequins, and it kind of can make your knees less bendable because there will be kind of stuff glued around of them. So I want to gain a couple of degrees of this flexibility by changing the shape of her knee joints a little bit. Yes, nice. Check it out, guys. You can clearly see the difference. I'm very happy with this result. You can clearly see that we have gained a couple of degrees or a couple of centimeters. And now I still want to send off this mummy texture of her leg and arm. Goddess Isis never was a mummy, you know, she's a goddess. She never was a human. She never was dead and mummified. So, I want to get rid of this detail, I want her to have a regular body and then I will blush the top of her body and also the feet with soft pastels to match the face. I've also decided to add some golden shine to her shoulders and to her cheekbones. I think it will look pretty. You can see that the biggest part of her body I've kept unblushed and this is because I'm planning to cover it with golden sequins as I've mentioned it already before to imitate this texture that you can see on this figure of the goddess. I guess it's supposed to represent bird feathers but I think this golden sequins will do the job so let's do it. And I don't know, guys, what I was thinking about when I was planning this project right after my Taylor Swift doll that came out on my channel two weeks ago. Check it out, by the way, if you haven't watched that video yet. I think she turned out beautiful, really. Because for my Taylor Swift doll, I had to glue more than 6,000 tiny crystals to that Barbie doll. And now I'm back to the same type of torture again, gluing huge amounts of tiny pieces to a doll's body. I don't know, it will take days again <laughs> just to wish me luck, guys. I don't know, it's a little bit too much, two projects like this next to each other. Here it is, two days later, I don't know, I think it looks absolutely stunning, I really love it, so shiny, so textured, really very cool, I'm obsessed with her body. Now let's make a pair of wings for my doll, and I start with sketching kind of ancient Egyptian style of wings. Again, something similar to what the statue has. And then I will recreate the wings in 3D using Warbler Thermoplastic.
and the wings already look so cool guys check it out very cool now let's paint them and let's decorate them with golden sequins And just look at my finished wings, guys. I don't know, don't they look super cool? I love them so much. I don't know, find them so, 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 so pretty. Very beautiful. Now I still want to make a mini necklace out of Warbler. And yes, I guess this will complete the outfit. Good, I still need to make a headpiece for her, but I think I want to make her hair first. I will use this stunning soft alpaca fibers for her. I forgot that I still had a little bit of it and I was very happy to find it when I was looking for blonde hair for my Taylor Swift doll. So let's attach this baby soft hair to her head. Really, there is nothing better on the market than this premium alpaca hair. I must buy more of it, really. Okay, this is what I've ended up making. I think she looks really good and now I can make a crown for her. Isis wears Hathor's crown. It's a sun disc framed by cow horns. So I will try to recreate it out of foam tubes and warbler thermoplastic.
think it looks believable, I don't know, doesn't it? I really like it. So let's paint the doll, cover it with gold and decorate it with rhinestones. This is my finished crown guys, I think it looks beautiful and very close to the original that we can see on these old images and it also looks really great on her head, so very happy about her crown, it's a beautiful last touch, the last detail in her look, so now I just need to attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished goddess Isis and I think she looks absolutely stunning. I don't know, very golden, very shiny, but also very colorful at the same time. And she definitely also looks very powerful, like a very strong woman, strong goddess. I really love this doll, I really love her vibe, the shine everything, I don't know. It took me of course a long time to finish because covering her body with golden sequins and making and painting the wings, yeah, it was very time consuming, let's be honest. But I think that the end result is more than worth of all this time invested into this project. I had really a lot of fun working on all these accessories and details and I really enjoy the end result, so I really hope that you had fun watching me making all these things as well. And I really can't wait to hear what you're gonna say about this doll. Hopefully I will be able to upload it on Friday, because I'm finishing this doll today on Thursday, and I still have to make a render and upload the video. So, I don't know, it might or probably it will come out a couple of hours later than usual. But anyway, now... You've seen the end result, so please guys let me know what you think about this project. Let's discuss this doll in the comments. And if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for 3 days. The link is in the description box under this video. And my Zendaya doll is also back for sale. I don't know, this doll will never get sold probably. So please check out my eBay store. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, guys, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, next week Friday, or, or in two weeks on Friday, I don't know exactly yet. Many projects are being in progress. So, see you in my next video, have a nice weekend, love you guys, bye!